Wednesday. This is your son. There's only one episode left. I got a call from a lawyer. Before the season finale. Are you still in my... I got him confessing on tape. Bring me the tape. Tyler Perry's sisters. All new next Wednesday at 9. Watch it live on BET. Oh boy, things are looking pretty wild. I think uh, we can all collectively agree that the final maybe 15 seconds of the episode as well as the end credit trailer i mean in my opinion the end credit promo alone for next week's episode look better uh, than the actual episode itself because it felt like so much shit was going down but next week we're getting episode 21 the precursor or the penultimate episode because there still is one more episode left episode 22 after next week i don't know why everybody's confused about that but the last word sabrina gets entangled in a situation that could have serious consequences for her i'm thinking the last word is probably in reference to the drama going on outside of uh zach's house i mean this i, I think zach is probably at the point where he wishes he had never gotten that money because every where are all these people coming from that are claiming him to be the father if he was still you know struggling working at the airport nobody would have been looking him up at all but now nah, now there are babies popping out everywhere so this will be the coverage on the end credit promo as well as the 10 or 15 second promo you saw at the beginning of the video so let's break it down so in the midst of the back and forth unfortunately we don't hear any of it in the trailer maybe that's because they're saving it for the episode i have no issue with that unless they save it for the 30 second promo that comes out maybe later today between fatima karen and zach but heather just strolls up there with the little boy on her hip i finally got in the dress for you and then you got fatima and karen looking like what the fuck and zach is like e -e 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 who are you and heather out of nowhere just says this is your son i've said it many times um I, I wish we get a DNA test, but we do know the next morning she's at the salon where we have Karen and Pam and she's like, you better be glad you're not married to him because I'm coming for that ass. Again, I really hope there's a DNA test done. We got proof that this is Zach's son because there are just way too many people claiming this and that about Zach without proof. I'm still, everybody, we're still pissed off on Zach getting arrested for back child support without any proof that that is his son. Not to mention, isn't it a bit suspicious that you just so happen to find Zach now after he made money? I don't know. I Look, look, hating is trash, but I still don't think he has anything to do with this. That's just my opinion. All right. So at the hotel room, and Zach is wearing the sweater that we saw him in a few weeks ago in those promo pics with Fatima, who's wearing, I believe, was it a, like a red or a green dress? I forgot. But yeah, it's the sweater we saw him in the promotional photos a few weeks ago. But Tony's there, and she says, Zach, I'm not going to say a word. And Zach is like, hey, if that's it, I'm going to head out. And Tony says, no, I got a call from a lawyer. I think it's almost a thousand percent safe to assume that Hayden was the one to make the call because the next morning in the law firm, you got this fool Hayden um, talking to Fatima in her office, which I'm like, how to, why are you doing this? Didn't you get a restraining order? Unless that got dropped or something, why are you up in her office? So I was looking through the camera footage at the airport and I saw the senator's wife and guess what this dumb beep did? It's going to be bye-bye for Zach. Hayden, you just don't know. Fatima had one hell of a night. Look, she just unwound, uh, unwinded in a bubble bath with a cup of wine. Now she got to deal with an ex trying to get her man back. And then a woman out of nowhere claiming that she's the fa uh, Zach is the father of her child. Hayden, you are the last person that Fatima wants to see or deal with right now. Keep on poking and see what happens. That's all I got to say. Okay, so from there, um, I'm guessing this happens moments after the whole Fatima and Heather encounter. Based off how Karen is going off, Andy, do not stick up for her. I swear to God. First of all, two things. One, Ebony is acting her ass off. I'm not playing about that. 
that that what that tone of voice somebody said on twitter that's that hannah from the haves and the have nots get out of here devil devil i re i rebuke you in the name of jesus it's like damn <laughs> i mean somewhere down the family tree i mean is karen related to hannah from the haves and the have nots because that was that 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 was grandma saying one last you got one last time to get your behind in line i don't want to tear your ass up boy i swear to god well yeah okay so andy's back at the penthouse now um, okay, so Andy's at the penthouse, and I'm guessing Karen goes over there to vent, and I'm like, if I were Andy, I'm like, first of all, you're the one who said you needed some time and quiet to think, and now you're up in here raising all this hell. Karen needs to quit. I mean, first of all, she's in this nice-ass penthouse making a spectacle of herself, raising that voice. Then she was in, I mean, before that, she's in Zach's white neighborhood, you know, just, I'm just, I don't want to, you know, stereotype, I'm pretty sure it was a white neighborhood, uh, because it's, you know, it, it looks expensive. So, you know, she over there raising a uh, hell, and it's just, I don't know. Karen just, I wouldn't be surprised this chick has a miscarriage. I've said this a long time ago, but the way she's stressing out, and this is only, remember, this morning was when she sat with the girls, and they were like, and well, Danny was like, hey, you don't have to have all the answers right now. Take it one day at a time. And she's acting like this within the same day. Yeah, that baby. Yeah, she's not going to have that baby. Um... And speaking of Danny's advice, okay, okay, I, I guess the rest of what I need to say is in regards to Danny, Logan, Q, and Sabrina. Okay, so for some reason, people are like, you know, why in the hell is Sabrina inviting uh, Bio over to her place? If I remember correctly, didn't Bio or his driver pick her up? So I guess that's why, you know, they're taking her home, but... It looks like Sabrina's kind of uh, shying away from a good night kiss. So it looks like the same night we have Danny going over to Sabrina's. Are you stealing money? And then the next morning, because you could tell based on what they're wearing, specifically Danny in her airport outfit, uh, Sabrina's like, you think he's a criminal? Danny's like, well, he's a cop and they arrest criminals. So... It could just be, you know, piecing things together. Look, Logan bounced because of something. Uh, it looks like he may have recognized your date, but then he mentioned your name and where you worked and, you know, the whole bank robbery thing. So things could be looking a bit dicey. He said you need to get a lawyer. And I guess, you know, if he recognized Bio, that could possibly mean he's some sort of criminal as well. So to add more fuel to the fire we have logan at his desk at work what's up quincy i got it i got a confession on tape bring me the tape so yeah as suspected in the episode q has maurice on tape claiming he and sabrina were going to rob the bank take the money and run to canada and whatnot but then again part of me is like okay there is no way in hell they're going to land in jail due to the events of um this reckless ass confession because you could even tell in maurice's voice he is being sarcastic but on top of that number one q could have messed around with the tape kind of in the same way that hayden you know recorded for tima's phone call for girl to make zach jealous well excuse me make hayden jealous but then he uh doc you know altered the call edited the call to make it seem like fatima was really trashing um zach the same could be done with this recording that q has of maurice but yet again, the tone itself is sarcastic. But then you also look at the fact that, well, this is Tyler Perry's sisters, Tyler Perry land, where the unthinkable happens, like, you know, somebody being arrested for back child support for a child they didn't even know existed, or the fact that, you know, um, these flimsy circumstances could lead to Maurice and Sabrina getting locked up. I mean, if if bio has anything to do with like the sex trafficking human trafficking ring and then along with that you know sabrina is involved with this bank thing unwillingly unknowingly or just guilty by association she could be locked up for a long time and like i said before with um you know zach being locked up what if the girls are trying to like you know andy you're a lawyer can you get uh, sabrina out no, I don't have, I mean, I can get somebody at the law firm to look into it, but for one, this is my expertise, and two, I kind of used up all my favors getting Fatima and Zach out of jail. What? Can you imagine that? That would be crazy. But um, in any case, it's just one of those situations where 
yeah, we're definitely gearing up for a season finale because sometimes the argument is sometimes the penultimate episode is better than the actual finale. And it looks like next week is going to be pretty damn good if I do say so myself. So with that being said, once they drop the full 30 second promo, I will definitely do a video breaking it down, especially if we have more, you know, dialogue and scenes than the end credit promo and the uh, 10 to 15 second teaser. But make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one.